All right, everyone. Serious business time. I'm going to attempt to, uh, tone it down a bit. Oh, that guy looks familiar. You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Grey Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the President is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Get on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext. Nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Is that so? Remember that the UN itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad will be here any minute. What I imagine comes... The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. As I was saying, so I imagine what it comes as little surprise to uh, any viewer who, for whatever reason, has not seen this far into Deus Ex. Uh, Paul Denton is actually a part of the uh, NSF. <laughs> I can't believe that acronym blanked on my head for a minute. Like I said, scatterbrained. <laughs> and despite the sense of urgency the game tries to instill into you, we've got some time to... Uh, look around a bit and explore. Take a peek at uh, what could be some valuable, useful goodies. Like this, an accuracy mod. Why, I do not mind if I do. We'll go ahead and put this on the stealth pistol again. Up to 73%. It's not bad. Only being trained in it. Actually, that initial thing might actually be coming from the trained in pistol. I commented on that last video, I think. And I do apologize. Little woohoo! <laughs> so, got a rocket. Got some... Yeah, those are some rockets. Whatever. Hold fire. Yeah, hold fire. And we have a mechanic over here we can speak with. Hey, you the guy the Fed sent? I have something for you. How do you know anything about the Feds? Oh, Lebedev, all his people right now? They're running around like ants thinking it's gonna be a raid. Rich Bastard probably has some kind of drug deal about to happen. Anyway, filch this stuff from a guy's locker. I'm selling a recoil weapon mod for 400. I also have some shotgun shells I'll give you for 300. Well, I would like the recoil weapon mod, thank you. Here's 400 for the recoil weapon mod. Appreciate it. Yeah, I actually found something to do with my gratuitous amounts of credits. I'm at 5,700 right now. Anyway, the recoil mod. I uh, cannot go under the Gep gun or the stealth pistol. That's okay. We'll put it on the uh, sniper rifle, which is what I was going to do anyway. So, yes, no surprise. Paul Denton's working for the NSF. And apparently, Paul was crucial in either, well, I imagine his attempt to, to actually kill me, to kill JC. Do I feel like bringing it? Nah, we'll go in like this. I, I determined what I was going to do in this segment a long time ago. So, yes. Major plot point incoming. We're actually going to have the opportunity to speak with Juan Lebedev. And our objective, as Alex noted, is to kill him. Uh, failure to do perform this objective will not result in us losing the game, but it will change some plot. Here's also the last Ambrosia That's there. That's the last one. Good work. There's also a repair bot here who can replenish the bioenergy. There's also an augmentation canister here with a code I have not picked up. There is a place here in this uh, this jet that you can pick it up, but it doesn't matter. I have 20 multi tools. I think I can spare two. No need to hoard my resources, man. Come on. 
mean, since you can only carry 20 of them. Anyway, augmentation canister here, which holds the EMP shield or ballistic protection. Augmentation. Which I think is a choice. So yes, Anna Navarro will actually be coming onto this plane herself to ensure the performance... Uh, uh, JC either performs the objective and kills Juan, or to ensure that Juan dies by her own hand. Now, you can perform this one several ways, and this is worth explaining right now since... Well, I don't exactly have room to explain it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. A, we can kill Juan Lebedev, as requested. B, we cannot kill Juan Lebedev, as requested. And when Anna shows up, she tells us to either... You know, kill Juan, or leave. And we can leave. C, we can pester Juan and attempt to learn, at, you know, more about the situation here, as uh, Paul requested that we did. We do this enough times, Anna gets frustrated, she kills Juan in front of our eyes. D, we can, for the first time, kill Anna ourselves. A preferred way is to plant, uh, maybe four lambs, you could probably use fewer. I like to do gratuitous overkill, sort of within that region there. Uh, behind this door, completely nuke her, she explodes. <laughs> it's satisfying. Uh, then you can also kill both Anna and Juan. And, you know, the order does matter. Uh, if you kill Juan yourself, Manderly is pleased. If uh, Anna kills uh, Juan, Manderly is a little frustrated. Either way, you're going to be getting yourself a credit op bonus, but it does change the dialogue. And I do want to leave Anna alive. Uh, like I said, this is the first time you can kill her. I want to keep her alive so that you folks can hear more dialogue from her. You know, I would I would gladly kill her if, as soon as I could, if I was playing this on a, uh, you know, a solo playthrough. As I've, you know, well, not recorded, not solo. Scatterbrain. Woohoo! Not making much sense. What matters, though, is that she can be killed, and there are skill point rewards involved in the situation. Uh, just taking out Lebedev, uh, as requested, doesn't give you any skill points. Listening to Lebedev talk before Anna kills him gets you 175, and killing Anna here gets you 200. I think it's 175 and 200. Midnight Sun, written by Joe Green. I believe we've seen that paper before. There's a soda I don't want, and there's the man himself. Fire extinguisher. Here's a cube, which I believe, yeah, contains that code, uh, that suspension crate, which we opened just fine. And, uh, there's a pistol. Hooray for us. Okay, everyone, let's listen. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray Yunatko without a reason. And here comes Anna. Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. Yunatko policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. Mm-hmm. Well, nuts to you, Anna. It's not exactly like I have been doing anything that you've explicitly wanted this entire time. If you know something, just tell me. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Return to base, Agent Denton. I will handle this. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a cabal of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Leave us, Agent. Now. I have the command here now. 
Sounds like a picture-perfect description of the NSF. Think bigger, Agent. Think global. You have disobeyed a direct order. Do you think it's an accident that the cure for the global plague is owned by a single corporation, and that it's kept so secret that only the tabloids dare print a story suggesting it exists? The supply is limited. That doesn't mean there's a conspiracy. But where does that corporation manufacture the cure? And where did your brother uncover the information that brought him over to our side? Go on. I can tell by the expression on your friend's face that she knows where I'm heading. Yonatko is completely correct to think that Tracer Tong will soon understand Ambrosia. He was the one who was going to receive this shipment. Why tell me all this? I've said nothing that Yonatko won't find on this plane's computer. But here's the secret. This is what Paul was so interested to hear from Tracer Tong. Manderly will be disappointed in your insubordination. There you go. Anna kills. That is what happens to a prisoner who tries to escape. Go to the helicopter now, Agent Denton. It is waiting at the airfield. Yes, a prisoner who tries to escape. Mm -hmm. Get to the helicopter. Manderly will want to see you. Sure will. I have never had this much difficulty with a trainee in my life. Unfortunatus. So, yes. Now, you can delay or stall Anna. And, uh, get, uh, Juan Lebedev killed yourself, even after you listen to that. But I don't much care. Juan dies. la dee -da. It's pretty much his lot in life, right? What was gonna happen? See to the helipad. We know your brother was here. He is gone, but we will find him. And Paul vanishes. After a one-night stand. <laughs> like I said, seriousness, gravitas. Let's head to the helipad there. We'll just take a shortcut here. All clear, sir. Fantastic. I mean, I kind of did clear this out myself, but I appreciate the sentiment. Suppose I... You know what? Fine. I use the two multi... two multi-tools. They deactivated this tower. Are they actually in here? Or has the map been cleared? Nope, they're in here. Fantastic. So I got to have my cake and eat it too, I reckon. <laughs> it's a dumb saying. Of course I got to have my cake and eat it too. Am I eating cake that's not mine? What the hell? It's rude, isn't it? <laughs> oh, stupid idioms. Anyway, that, uh... That turned out the way that I knew it was gonna go, and... Well... I mean, you could save uh, Lebedev's life, but like I said, I wanted to keep Anna around for a while. Don't worry, we'll have some more quality time with her later. Okay, anyway, let's talk with Gunther here. Mandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Hello. Standard procedure, it appears. v -Gates. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Some bad news. Agent Navara beat you to it. Yes, of course. I will congratulate her. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. Yes, indeed. So, if you kill Lebedev yourself, he congratulates you. I will be truthful. I have requested the assignment of the Paul Denton assassination. Gunther is very simple and blunt. Gotta appreciate that about him, right? He's got some qualities we can all admire. <laughs> Gunther told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. Coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. You and officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? I'm ready, let's move out. I'm ready, let's move out. Get in. Now, of course, I could've, you know, swept through this entire area and picked up all of the goodies after it had been cleared by UNACO troopers. But where's the fun in that, right? Come on, come on. 
then I wouldn't be able to get to use any of my ammo and my stealth hacks or anything. Check in with Manderley so we can get out of here. We gotta move. Alright. Don't think there's anything in there this time around. Or, uh, behind this combat. But there is, um... 12 gauge side shells. Not useless. I imagine one day I'll use a shotgun. Manderley wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. Don't worry. Manderley calmed down when he heard that Anna took care of Lebedev. Well, that's good. You'll be alright. He's mainly upset about Paul. I imagine. You better get downstairs for a debriefing. Yeah. It's not gonna be great. See, Juan Lebedev told uh, JC there's some valuable information that, uh, oh, to be honest, is uh, classified far above Manderley's JC's clearance. Stop. You better go see him on the double. Yeah. He's a little frustrated that and the whole, you know, Paul apparently having worked for the NSF this entire time. I mean, he's really feeling the burn of stress here. It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides that? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. Maybe it's the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. Yep. Hi, JC. Hello, Agent Denton. Eh, uh, I don't feel like talking with you folks anymore. There's a little cleaner bot there. Anything of use in here? Got a bioelectric cell. Those are handy. What about in the office here? Prod charger. Paul must have left it there. Another multi-tool. Woo! A recoil weapon mod. And just leave the gas grenades. And uh, let's see here. Go ahead and stick that on the sniper rifle. And we don't need any more of that ammo. Let's go ahead and log in with JC Denton. Not Dentian. JC Denton, Bionic Man. JCD, Bionic Man? There we go. This is from Alex Jacobson. We need to talk about that last mission in person, not info link. Come by my office after you've been debriefed by Manderley. If you kill uh, Anna, of course, Alex is uh, your handler and he's always watching from the info link. He's a little distraught. Try not to distraught him. <clears throat> That's the correct term. And it's worth using one of my numerous lock picks for the uh, bioelectric cell in uh, 30-06. Before we go talk with them, we'll, uh, we'll ignore them. If you want to open. Open, maybe? Sorry, I'm, I'm so impatiently clicking, I forget how slow this thing is to open, and there's still not anything in it. Your brother sure had us fooled. Yes, I imagine so. Okay, another locked pick. The day is saved. Back to the same old routine. Yep. I can't believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess he got a better offer. What a blow. I don't know how we'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderley available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. Incidentally, I haven't been able to reach Jaime. If you cross paths, could you mention that Walton Simons is looking for him? I'm guessing he's in the break room. I'll let him know. Context clue to, uh... Excuse me. To check out the break room. Which we wouldn't have heard that dialogue had we already visited. What kind of pain? Behind the eyes, a sharp burning, almost electrical. How's your bioelectric level? It's always at 100%. I like to stay prepared. That's probably it right there. Free radicals. You should charge your systems only when they've been significantly drained. 
I wasn't informed of that. It's a lot like an electric razor. If you leave it plugged in all the time, the battery loses its zero point. Just watch your levels. Interesting. Thanks, Doctor. Let me know how it goes. I saw you listening in. Yes, it's true. I have augmentations like yours. Don't you work down in Washington? Actually, I'm the director of FEMA. Sounds like you wouldn't have much use for physical augmentations. You underestimate the demands of my work. We deal with every sort of natural and unnatural disaster you can imagine. But you're the director. You work behind a desk. Am I behind a desk right now? No, I'm not. That's because we have a situation here in New York. I got to my position because I can fix things. You will see shortly because as you have probably noticed yourself, this agency is broken and needs an overhaul. What do you mean by overhaul? You will receive a memo in a few days. I am still collecting data. UNATCO was very effective this evening. We recaptured the shipment. You don't have to worry, Agent. It's the softer elements I am after. Like who? You're beginning to exceed your clearance. What are you? Angel OA? Excuse my persistence. I'll wait for the memo. Good. Carry on. Angel OA, to my knowledge, is the entry level of clearance uh, here in this UNADCO operation. Uh, I do believe I mentioned uh, briefly the whole uh, sort of clearance system uh, last session. So yeah. JC isn't allowed to know anything. Guess you guys found each other. Get everybody patched up? I did my best. You're looking good. Never felt better. They just dropped off a few liters of the ambrosia you recovered, by the way. Good work out there, Denton. I want you to know, we will not let your brother's activity cast its shadow on you. Yes, sir. I'm grateful for that. I just wish we'd found out sooner. No harm done. We have you to take his place. Is a few liters going to be enough? Well, no one on staff's gonna catch Grey Dead this month. Paul said UNATCO uses the Ambrosia supply to influence national governments. What do you think about that? So it's true. He went over to the NSF. He makes some sense. I ignored the mission objective of killing his boss, Juan Lebedev, but Agent Navarre intervened. What did Mandalay say? I didn't talk to him yet. Uh, you better get to his office. He's not going to like that one bit. Didn't get to hear uh, JC reveal the information. Whatever, it's fine. Also, a more conspicuous thing. Our public information terminal has been removed and the wall completely smoothed over in the short amount of time we spent away from here. That is... that is truly amazing. In other news, Mo Cash more money. And there goes Hyman. If there's a conspiracy, it's a Versa life. They're the ones making money off the play. Yes. Let me go talk to Manderley. He's gonna be a little frustrated, but you know, it's not my problem. Hello. All right, Denton. What the hell happened? You were under direct orders. My orders. Sorry about not killing Lebedev. He seemed worth interrogating. We don't give you enough information to make a call like that. I guess that means I don't get the op bonus. You can turn in your weapons right now, if you're going to be a smart ass. I risked my life and I recovered the Ambrosia. I deserve compensation. We don't have time for trifles. Whatever, take it. But it will be the last one. Clearly monetary incentives don't work with you and Paul. I try to do the best job I can. Just shut up and listen for a second. Christ, JC, this kind of behavior, not to mention your brother's defection, is making certain powerful people very nervous. Nervous about you. You understand the importance of loyalty, don't you? Yes, but... Well, that's what seems to be missing in you and your brother. Brace yourself for an ugly lesson, JC. Coalition has shut down Paul's augmentations and has activated the kill switch. Activated what? He's our enemy now. He's gone, JC. The Coalition wants you to understand that he's just another terrorist, like the ones that have died by your very hand this evening. Can they really kill him? With the press of a button? Yes, and you too. So take these orders seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. 
What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please, just get your equipment and meet our pilot, Jock, at the helipad. You'll need to take out a man called Tracer Tong, Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? Yes. It's critical that they trust you. Anderley's ass is on the line here, too. You know, uh, he's been, he's drawing serious criticism now for how Paul's turned out, and for JC to be looking the same way, and uh, really reflects negatively upon him. It's a big fucking deal. Anyway. Grow up, JC. I'm sure you won't mind. This is from Jaime Reyes. This is a message about uh, excessive force being used on an NSF trooper being brought in. This is from uh, Walton Simons. Uh, having dispatched Agent Sherman to ensure that MJ-12 operations are not adversely affected. MJ-12 operations, hmm? We've definitely heard that acronym before. Inako nabs terrorists in Hell's Kitchen Raid, yes. The National Successionist Forces. Instead of the Northwest behave Successionist like Forces. A professional. Anyway, I'm gonna take candy, motherfucker. I just can't get over it. How could Paul do this to us? Yes, he did it to you, directly. I'm sure that was his motivation in life. Yep, oh, already looked in there. It's on here. What does it say? I thought it said Tracer Tong up there. I can't exactly read that well. Max Chin. Oh well. I suppose it says whatever you make it out, let's say. United States Association. You can't go. Let's head down here and try not to destroy the cleaner, bud. Then what you do? I chased them into the building. Don't care about your love Weren't story. Weren't you scared? Looks like the cleaner bots were busy while I was gone. Oh yeah. Busy day, but as you can see, I got to everyone. I imagine so. I can finally start on some paperwork. Fantastic. Got a med kit here. We'll be taking that. Go ahead and heal me up, bot. And while you're at it, EMP shield in the subdermal slot helps to reduce EMP damage, which protects your bioelectric energy. Or you can get ballistic protection, which shields you from projectiles and bladed weapons. Which one sounds more dangerous? Of course, you could equip neither of these and pick up both of this, the uh, the subdermal augmentations. Ah, I like myself some ballistic protection. You have uh, anything here on the uh, login? Let's see here. A message about an augmentation canister uh, shipment via suspension crate. Regeneration or energy shield torso augmentations. Here's a reply from uh, Manderley about the excessive force, which is basically a bunch of hogwash. Bullshit. And a message from Francis Hamilton. From uh, the CDC. Uh, reporting about the Great Death. A book, which I'm pretty sure I've looked at before. What we got in here? Augmentation canister. Yeah, we don't need that one. That's in case you miss speed enhancement or run silent. Another opportunity to grab it. Let's swing on by Alex, since uh, he said he wanted to talk to us. A Jacobson Calva? No email. 2001. Another lockpick. Woo! 14. Anything down here? I don't think there is. Nope. Okay. Right. Take another candy bar, because you can. Hello. Oh, that's what I get for trying to be fancy. Should have turned on speed enhancement. A lot of surprises this time. Paul, a terrorist. Wow. He got me to disobey orders. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him, or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. Yeah, I'm sure he's never made a mistake before. Anyway, another lockpick. 
Bring us up to 15. You see? There's no problem with burning through all these damn supplies. It's another multi-tool I can't use. Really, you could argue that you don't... But I had a job to do, and I did Are you two still talking? Amazing. It was just blind luck that one of the terrorists was carrying orders from Lebedev. We never would have known about the airlift if you hadn't been so Don't courageous. Care. How are you holding up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about Lebedev. You refused an order to kill in cold blood. Precisely your duty as a UNATCO peacekeeper. Manderly certainly does. He'll cool down. The important thing is that you obey your conscience. Right. Tell me what you need, and I'll load you up. Well, this is this is pretty simple. A gep rocket. Like the big guns, huh? Hang on to this baby. It's the last one I've got. The last one? Oh no. No, no. Now I feel a little guilty. Don't worry. It's in good hands. Got twenty of them suckers. You better leave that ass and I Yeah, I suppose I should have. Nothing of worth there. I can't even talk to you again. I hear they're shipping you out to Hong Kong. Hate to see you go. I know, it's a shame. Hey there, Walton Simons. I said no more questions. Right. A Navara Scrys... Nada. Any more candy back here? I like candy. Not much happening down here, Agent. We had to execute the prisoners. We did, huh? Mmm. Mm, yeah, yeah, we did. Totally. Apparently, let's turn on the juice. Save some time here. Don't much care about the love story happening between these two. Shannon is still a little upset about it at us, of course. We were expecting a show. Mm, it's hard to keep track. So long, Agent. So long, Scott. Still holding this upgrade canister. I wanted to save it for some reason. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I think I might have even missed an upgrade canister. Was shipping out for Hong Kong. No, you don't. It feels like I did miss an upgrade canister. That's gonna bother me. Well, we'll miss you, Agent. Strange you were reassigned so soon after only one day. That's right. All the events thus far have taken place within one day. This area is off limits. Yeah. Okay. Well. Suppose, uh, next time, we're going to Hong Kong, everyone. I'll see you all then.